With the functional parser, the next step is to convert the abstract syntax tree into bytecode that can be interpreted with a simple virtual machine. One problem exists though. Currently, there's no virtual machine to target. So with that said, I'm going to skip writing the compiler for now so I can better develop the virtual machine that it will eventually target. Much like Python, this will be an object-oriented language. In this case, when I say object-oriented, what I mean is that everything will be a first-class object. Functions, types, etc. Everything will be an object. There will be no primitive types. With that said, before I can write the virtual machine, I'm going to have to write code for the object system. Management, I'm going to be using reference counting. Every time an object has an additional reference created or removed, the reference counter will be incremented or decremented. When it reaches zero, the object will be destroyed. With my object implementation taking shape, I'm going to have to implement some basic types such as strings and integers to test it. Now that I have two object types that I can instantiate, it's time to work on a simple stack-based virtual machine to facilitate code execution.
need to implement a standard library as an object type that can encapsulate a function written in C. The invoke operator allows custom logic to be implemented whenever an object instance is called as a function. I'll use this to wrap a C function pointer in an object instance and then pass the arguments from invoke to the C function. With this built-in object type, I'll be able to implement a print function that can be used to display hello world. The last thing that I need to implement to compile a hello world program is user defined functions. Just like the built in function type, I'll use my object's invoke operator. When the object is called, I'll have my VM execute the bytecode associated with the function and convert the arguments to local variables.
All right, great, use it to find functions work. I think the VM is now sufficient enough to run simple programs. In the next video, I'll be writing the actual compiler and hopefully I'll be able to run my first Hello World program.